hi darlings thank you so much for joining me on my channel today and today i have a video for you basically walking you through the new study that is by top knots and jesus in her new studio which is called yes and amen studio if you know me you know that uh janet is a dear friend of mine and i love her i love what god is doing through her and these studies have been a great um They've just been a great asset to my Bible study life and just um, keeping me in the word. And I have loved just being in community with all the ladies in the Facebook group and seeing how God is working through them with studies that God is giving my dear friend Janet. And it's just been an amazing experience. So I had these printed out in shop. If you know me as well, you know that I have an inkjet printer, um, but the, this actual study has beautiful photography in it and i knew that a laser printer would be amazing and since i wanted to do a project with this i wanted it printed on cardstock if you can hear that that's 80 pound cardstock that i printed it on and i thought this would be the best uh medium paper medium for me to use uh, for this study so i'm going to walk you through what i have and then we can dig into how i'm going to be setting it up um what things i've pulled from my stash or purchased in the last um couple of you know days and yeah let's just dig into it so as I told you, you can purchase this. I'll link everything below at Top Knots and Jesus Yes and Amen Studio. So it's yesandamen.com. I'll have the link below so you can grab that super easy. And so this study is called Fallen. And so Fallen is going to be about the perils of the church. So I love the wordplay with fall because we are going into the fall season and then fall in, you know, and I think this is very important. We're seeing a lot of apostasy in the church nowadays. So I think this is going to be a good study for us to really um, dig in deep and lay a foundation in so we can go into the next season. So I am loving the title. It's a little bit, how would you say? It's not the... Uh, gratitude type of study that we usually get during these days and I love that I love something different and I love and I know God is gonna speak to us through this so this is kind of the layout so we have this beautiful photography here it's a five by seven I love this and then on the other side um, we have the devotional content and towards the end instead of a question or um or kind of reflective you know this is more of a prompt and this prompt is saying stand and then she gives us a biblical truth that has to do with this um devotional content that we can stand on i love that because it's a biblical truth that's going to help us either overcome or abstain from that week's topic if that makes sense so we have devotional content the scripture is in bold in here so you can look into that she also in some of them she that she thinks it's specific she actually puts as i can see here the translation so you can look that up uh, you can use any bible app i like i specifically read in the ESV, um, but if I need to look it up in any other translation, I can either look up another Bible because I have many translations in my house or I use an app, so you can do that. This is the first page, love that. Ooh, I'm gonna put it to this side. And then we have identity theft. I love this beautiful door, that's just gorgeous. Of course, devotional contents and stand again. So the first week is, and I'm gonna bring this back just to explain that. So the first week is um, identity theft, and this is going to be that topic for the week. And then what happens is this is in a five by seven. This is the main content. And then she has um, two subtopics for that week. This is a six week study. So one of them is breach of, of spiritual security and the other one is shifting. So you see these are two smaller four by four cards. And so you can see the difference between the main week topic and the two subtopics for that week, which I think is beautiful because it'll keep us very organized and we won't get confused um, in which one's the main topic of that week. So I love that. Just digging a little deeper with some subtopics. The next one is lovers of themselves. 
And then I love this pattern in the back. I'm loving the photography mixed with a little bit um, of pattern making, love that. So we have devotional content and then our prompt to stand for that week. And then of course we dig a little deeper and we have two subtopics. We have conceit and appearance of godliness. Love that. We have lest he falls. And then we have a um, we have a big amount of uh, devotional content here, and of course a prompt at the end. And then we have um, subtopics. I've never knew you. Depart from me. Departed. We have these as well. And of course you see that there's also prompts within those subtopics as well. Spiritual corruption. And then we have um, the devotional content and of course the prompt here at the end. The, the photography is absolutely stunning. This is one of my favorite um, and you'll see my very favorite, but I love these colors and these beautiful glasses. We have Loveless Church, Itching Ears, devotional content prompt, devotional content prompt. So lots of scripture, as you can see, bolded through here. You can really dig in deep as the weeks go by. Quenching the spirit. This is my absolute favorite. I, I don't know, something about this has my heart and maybe the oranges, because you know I'm an orange girl. We have devotional content. And then we have um, the prompt. Spiritual discernment, walk in the spirit. Content prompt, content prompt. Hatred. I love that this is a very old school picture, vintage -y. It looks kind of abandoned. And then the, the title is Hatred. Love that. Very, very um, intentional. Description, I'm sorry, devotional. And then prompt. And then worldliness and do not love the world. And then the devotional content and prompt. So I do want to go back and just gonna put these back in order. I don't wanna make sure I don't get them mixed up. I do want to go back and read every um, week title for you. That way you are very much in the know. Right here in the intro of this, um, of this study, you'll have this go through Right here, it tells you. So on this journey, we will focus on six different areas of our current fallen state. Week one, identity. Week two, character. Week three, faith. Week four, church. Week five, spirit. And week six is world. So you, are, you will know, even if the first one doesn't have that specific one, you will know which week you're on. All of that is here in the beginning. Um, I want to also read this portion right here real fast so you kind of get a gist of what is in this study. The term fallen does not fall easy on the heart, is rarely discussed, studied, or even fully understood. For this reason, it is vital that we intentionally study and dig deeper in God's word to fully understand how the spirit utilizes it to expose the conditions of our hearts. Part of maturing involves addressing those matters that cut straight to the source of our sin. Being in a fallen state, is of great concern to Jesus, so much so that he warned us extensively on the matter. We must keep in mind that our carnal nature leads us adrift and moves to the heart to wander. So um, I'm gonna let you read the rest of that, but that is kind of the gist and the, um, the main heart behind this study. So this is actually the study print. So when you buy the study, um, this is the study. She also has an, an individual PDF and in, when you purchase this, it comes with it. Um, just a P PDFs of just the um, portraits or just the cards, just in case you just wanna print out the cards and not, um, and not the devotional along with the photography, if that makes sense. So that is a look at the study. And now we're gonna take a look at the papers. I love the beautiful papers she chose. So we have this beautiful deep teal. And then we have um, this beautiful, this looks like a wood grain kind of, absolutely pretty. Then we have the same one in black and white. Love pops of black and white. Ooh, I love this one. This has like an orange flowery feel to it. Beautiful, beautiful papers. So glad I printed on cardstock. This beautiful leafy white and black print, super bold, super pretty. We have this hexagon with a ray through it, black and white or off-white. 
And of course, you know Janet always gives us a freebie. The freebie, freebie this month is tags. So I love this because we have six big tags that you can use in your journaling. I specifically love this one with this beautiful stack of Bibles and they mimic the, um, the different pattern papers here. Absolutely beautiful. So that is the freebie that you get along with this stack. Again, I will list all of this below. So you may be asking how I'm going to work through this. So let me show you what I've pulled. So if I kind of, I'm gonna put these two. So you kind of get a gist of the colors right over here. Right, and then so I've pulled some things in my stash. Actually, it's not even gonna fit, so I'm just gonna keep this simple. Sorry, put this right over here. Okay, so I've pulled from my stash some things I already had. So I have these beautiful um, wood pieces. On the back, they're totally wood, so you can eat, use either side. These are from Crate Paper, so um, let me pull so this is from Crate Paper's Fresh Bouquet line. I believe this was last year's and they're the wood veneer. They're six pieces. And so I pulled these from my stash because I think these would go well um, with this. So I have these pieces and obviously I have another stack. <laughs> we can never have enough things, right? I also pulled some of Sorry, some of the Fresh Bouquet line. So I pulled um, the wood veneers. I'm probably not gonna open these. I'm gonna try to work, work with the ones that I already have open. I have these stickers. I'll just pull ones that I feel like uh, really match with the kit. I thought this black and white print, floral print would go well. There's a lot of black and white. Um, I probably won't use this one, but it was within that one. This one has all the colors. This is gorgeous. This has all the colors that um, as well go with the kit. So if you look at that, beautiful, right? Like it matches very well. I'm so glad I didn't use these up. Um, and so I have these, I'll probably cut pieces of these out to use again. Absolutely perfect, matches so well. Um, this one as well goes really well. And so I can use these to kind of build my project on. So I pulled some of these. So this is, again, Crate Paper Fresh Bouquet. I'm actually thinking of doing a really big tag ring. Um, I kind of drew inspiration from the size. So I got these two inch book rings. These are from the Dollar Tree. Yes, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Six of them came um, for a dollar, which is amazing. I'm going to do a really big tag ring. Um, to do the art part of it. And I also picked up um, these wood numbers. These are in the Dollar Tree as well and 20 pieces for a dollar, which I think is amazing. And I'm gonna be numbering off the weeks with this. Um, I'm gonna probably use some mica spray or distress inks with these. And then I also pulled some other wood veneers that I had. These are also from American Crafts. They're from the Eco line. Um, Joanne's Fabric had these for 60% off, so I sent some to some friends of mine and I also kept some to use within these pieces. I just think the wood and the natural um, look of and feel of these things are, match really well with these kits. For some pops of black, I'm using these uh, chalkboard tags. These were in Joanne's, they were in the, I can't remember the name, but they're in that section that has a bunch of, they also have these in that section and it comes in a little pack and I believe they were like 10 for a dollar 49 or $2.49. Um, so I picked up these, again, I sent some to some friends and then kept these. They also had these little mirrors and they had one pack. Um, one pack would come with, I think six of them. These are rose gold, so this one's rose gold. So I picked up one pack of rose gold and one pack of regular gold. I think these would be perfect for the section that's lover of themselves, kind of representing a mirror, but also bringing some texture into the project. There's that. Kind of lay these out for you so you can see what I have so far. And then they also, in Joann's again, so all, all, these three and this one are from Joann. They had um, these little portrait um, 
think these are like, yeah, it's like a craft cardboard and I believe six of them came and I picked this up and I believe these were $2.49 as well in that Joann's section. If I can find these on Joann's website, I'm going to link what I can find below for you. So again, these were only a dollar from Dollar Tree and these were all from Joann's, these three things here. Also from Joann's, I picked up a roll of this pretty wire lace. It's like a tough material, but soft. It's a beautiful ribbon. I thought it would be go it would be great just adding some metallics to um, this collection or this study. And then I also picked up this um, paper pack, which is Park Lane, and it has neutral colors. And um, as you can see, there's a lot of neutral colors here. So I thought this would be great um, just to get some cardstock. And I can show you some of the papers that I I've already pulled. So I think these colors are gonna go great with this study. Um, these are some of the ones that I've pulled so far. And it's from, and I believe this was $9.99 and I used a coupon, I think a 50% coupon. So I only got this for five bucks, which is great. Or maybe it was a 40% coupon, but um, on things that are regular price, always use a coupon. <laughs> also, I went to Hobby Lobby and I saw these and these were, $4.99, but all the paper studio things were 50% off, so they were only $2.49. Again, all of this was very, very um, cheap, and I was using coupons and things like this, so these were 50% off, and I picked some of these just to add, add some texture as well to my project. So this is kind of everything I've pulled from my stash to use with this project. I hope it inspires you, and go through your stash um, these are things that I have leftovers of, so that's why they're not in their original packaging. These things I did pick up new, um, and this right here, so that's why that's in the original part packaging, but I was pulling things that I already had. Shop your stash. I always say that. I think it's important for us to use up the things we already have in our stash. Now, let me put this aside. Okay, so now I did tell you that I'm going to use a ring. Let me pull this. So I'm gonna do a really big chunky ring. That is my idea for this project. But you might think, okay, that's the art part. What else are you gonna do? I got this beautiful custom TN from Beloved Society. I love Beth. And this has plenty of paper and plenty of lined paper. And it has a pocket in the back as well, which I love. But this is gonna be perfect for me to do all my um, Bible study notes, all of my um, verse mapping, maybe breaking down um, and doing word studies. This is going to be perfect for that. So, um, and also it matches. So I'm going to be doing a big book ring with all of the, the goodness inside of here. And then I'm also going to be using this Beloved Society notebook alongside it to do my journaling and also to do my study and all my notes and all of that. Um, let me show you what something else that I also found. So Digna, which is, um, she is Digna Toledo. I will add her, I will link her below. She told me about this deal they were having on Paper Studio. These were in the clearance section. So the this one was $4.99, which is an amazing deal. Um, this is one way that you could, whoo, I don't wanna scratch it up, but this is, there we go. Obviously that was never open. Um, this is one way you can work through it. You can use either a planner, um, one that's empty you can use. And I think this is a beautiful color. She's using this in an A5. I picked up this smaller personal planner. Um, I think this is a great way to do it as well. And then let me just show you real quick. Um, I obviously don't have this cut down, but see this is, and it's coming over a little bit, but this would fit perfectly right in here. And you can use um, a planner punch. I have this uh, We Are Memory Keepers planner punch board, and you can punch holes, cut these out, punch holes into them, and just put them right in here. And then you can use just planner paper right in here to take notes, keep it all together. That would be a fun way to um, document this journey. Um, that's one way you can do that. 
this is the perfect size for this personal planner. And even more so, if you use an A5, you have even more space. So $4.99, um, you, you can check your Hobby Lobby, see if they have any. Um, I believe the A5 uh, is $6.99, but this personal planner size is $4.99. And then um, another thing you can do is you can put it on discs. Now let me grab my other one. So BU, I actually did BU in here and you can see I have my notes in here and everything. And I did, the, I did it on discs. So these are the same type of discs, but these are in gray, obviously. You can get a pretty copper brown color, or any color that you feel will match with this kit and um, you can put it on discs. That would be amazing. That's one way that you can work through it. You can use a Happy Planner Punch and put it on discs, and then you have everything, the devotional and the notes all together in here. So that's what I did for BU University. I'm going to film a flip through of this soon. Another way you can work through it is how we, most of us, work through in camp. I loved this. It's all here, all my notes, just so good. Um, I loved putting the challenges in here. It's such a pretty, um, just such pretty goodness. I love seeing the side of it and all the goodness popping out of it. So this is um, from Citrus Twist and it's an album. I believe it's a six by eight album. And you see how packed this is, just so full of goodness. You can work in it just like this and um, do your study in here. If you can see, this would fit perfectly in here. Nope. So that would be another way that you can study it. And the last thing and, that I can say is you can also use um, Faith Dex card. If you like Faith Dex card, that's another way you can study through it. As for me, I'm going to be using this method. I will be filming a setup video. I hope to film it. If I don't film it, I'm definitely gonna do a fill it through of the ending of that. Sometimes projects like that take me a little longer. So it takes me, it's hard to film, but you know, it's going to be a very good study and I hope to show you the way that I'll set up everything even if I don't get to film the process. So thank you so much for joining me. I know this was a little lengthy, but I wanted to give you some ideas and also show you this good study that came out. Again, I'm gonna link everything below. Thank you so much for joining me each and every video, darlings. If you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing. Hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks so much, thank you. Thank you, thank you for joining me each and every video, darlings. God bless, bye.